what is up everybody you know it has been so long since i put out a video and well i've just had so much going on at home and here at work bouncing around from one task to another and i figured i'd go ahead and put a video out there for y'all so this one's going to be a little bit different than what i've done in the past you know i'm prepping and priming and painting this hankley but i've been asked to do the bright work on it so this video is going to cover how i quickly achieve a nice looking finish for bright work i'm going to be using flagships high build varnish and just to kind of show you real quick <clears throat> so the entire tow rail looks like this it's grainy you got little evidence of old failed varnish from way back in the day but i have to make all of this look good and all i'm going to do is quickly sand all this with 80 grit i'm going to apply two coats of flagship varnish thinned to act as a sealer and then that way i can proceed with doing my finish prep work on the hall and getting it ready for paint now when doing this type of work if you're doing varnish and you are planning to to prep and paint your boat you either want to do your bright work before you start any sanding or you want to get your hull called up to speed and primed so that that's sealed and then you can start your sanding. If you start sanding your hull and then decide you want to do your bright work and then you start sanding the teak, all that oily dust will contaminate your surface. So you either do it before you start any prep or you do it after you've primed and the hull is sealed. So yeah, this is going to be a quick video. I'm going to show y'all how I tackle this process and what I'll do is I'll get two coats on it and then I'll continue on with the hall prep and after the hall is done, which I'm painting it flag blue, I'll come back and I'll apply seven more coats of flagship varnish. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump straight into it. I'm going to get to sanding and I'm going to show you all the process. So here we go. All right, so just show you all real quick. I got my little six inch sander. 80 grit and this is going to be a quick process just like this <laughs> going to be perfect two coats of the flagship will seal that just fine and then when we get into the build-up coats and sanding that's when it'll start to look like a mirror finish so i'm gonna go ahead and time lapse this process and i'll get with y'all when it comes time to tape off and solvent clean so here we go
All right, so all the sanding is done. I went ahead and blow wiped it, you know, get what dust I could out of the grain and whatnot. And now I'm going to go ahead and just tape it off real quick, and I'll jump back in when it's solvent wiping time. Here we go. Okay, everybody, the taping's done. Now it's time to solvent wipe. Now, when I do bright work and I'm messing with teak, I like to use acetone as a solvent. It soaks into the wood really quick and evaporates quickly and it takes oils with it when it does. And when you thin your first couple coats of varnish or CETOL, whatever you're using, it allows it to penetrate into the wood deeper and it just makes for a stronger bond. So. This is one of the only processes where I will use acetone as a solvent cleaner. And yeah, I just wanted to note that I'm solvent white and then get the varnishing. All right, everybody, here we go. So here we are, flagship high bill varnish, and I'm gonna be thinning it with regular old mineral spirits stuff works great for this and i'm going to thin this first coat about 30 35 percent and then when i do the second coat i'll drop back to about 15 to 20 percent and then after that all coats are full strength now it states on the can you do not shake varnish i'm not sure why except for the only thing i can think of is it puts a bunch of bubbles in there so you just want to stir it. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to do all this by eye. Put that in there. My mineral spirits. And to me, that looks about like 25, 30%. So I'll go ahead and stir that up. And I'm just gonna use a little two inch fuller chip brush. Now I've stated this in the past, when using these brushes, you wanna sit there and try to knock out any loose hairs as possible, keep it from getting in your, your work. And then as an extra precaution, for those of you that don't know, you just take some tape, put it on there, wrap it tight, and then squeeze it. And that'll help catch any loose bristles that might wanna come out while you're doing this. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get the brush in this on there. It's nothing special about it, it's really simple. So I'm gonna time lapse this whole process and I'll get back with y'all in an hour or so after this tacks up and we get the second coat on there. So I'll see y'all then. All right, so that's the first coat down. It went pretty smoothly and it's looking pretty good. I'll give y'all a quick walk around real quick and then I'll do a follow-up after the second coat. So here we go. You know, this is just a sealer coat. The wood is soaking it up in and the next coat will go on a little bit thicker but she's looking pretty good and it already looks a thousand times better than it did. It'll look even better when it's all done and it's got a fresh flag blue paint job. So, anyhow, that's coat one. Let's go for coat two. All right, here we go. Coat number two. After I finish this coat, I'll pull the tape and I'll get y'all look close so you can see what it looks like after two coats. So, here we go.
All right, everybody, that's a wrap. Two coats and done. So I just went ahead and pulled the tape. And just to give you a, a quick look at it. So that's what she looks like now after two coats of thinned flagship varnish. As I stated, these are just sealer coats. It's gonna keep it protected from the rain or weather should we have any. And that's sealed until I can pick back up on it after I get the hull and everything painted. So, you know, it was a pretty productive day. And I only did the outside and the top of the rail. The inside still has to be done, but that can be done when I pick back up on the bright work. So, you know, just another day at the boatyard. And as I've stated in the past, guys, you know, <clears throat> this is just me showing y'all my way of doing things. There are multiple other ways to do these types of tasks. And, well, I'm just sharing with y'all how I do them and how to achieve a satisfactory finish. Now, by the time... I'm done with that bright work. It's going to look like a mirror. So anyhow, I hope this helps some of y'all. Anybody trying to tackle your own bright work when it's, you know, all natural looking and grayed out like it was. So I hope this helped y'all. And there's the Alden that I painted last year. I have that whole video sequence on my YouTube channel as well. And he has brought the boat back. For me to completely redo the deck it's a whole nother job whole nother task whole nother video but anyhow this was just a fill-in video i wanted to put something out there for y'all i hope y'all liked it i hope you enjoyed hit that like button subscribe if you hadn't more videos coming soon